these are some wild tomato trees or bushes that are growing in my backyard here in Florida. Um, I noticed them around two or three years ago and I just decided to let them grow because I knew I hadn't planted any tomato seeds so but I, I could recognize that they were little tomato trees so I let them grow and they started to produce these really cute little tiny tomatoes that I had never seen before so I did a Google search and I found out that they are Everglade tomatoes that grow in wild in Florida and other places like Central America so um, I tried to contain them I tried to put them in containers and put them up on a trellis or buckets but they seem to grow best when you just let them grow wild like this I know it looks really messy but it's worth it I just mow around them and uh, try to uh, you really don't have to do anything to take care of them just Maybe if there's, you know, a drought, you can give them some water, but other than that, you don't really need to do anything to them. No food, nothing like that. Just let them grow wild. And when they are done producing, the, the vine dies, and then you pull it out, and then they'll just pop up again a few months later or somewhere else in your yard. Because the birds love these. So this vine is dying here. So I'm going to um, collect these tomatoes. Here's another little random tree. This one is dying. So I'll get those little tomatoes. This is another bush that popped up out of nowhere. And it's producing really well. Here, I tried to put them in buckets, but they just get tangled up and crazy, and they don't do as well as the ones that are just growing free. You can get the seeds on Amazon. I've seen them, uh, I think it was on Amazon or some kind of seed distributor. And they, they do very well. You don't have to do much of anything to them. So this is what I ended up getting from that one tree or bush and as you can see it's a lot. This is a pretty good sized bowl. I can get way more. It's just very hot out so I took a break. But um, so with this I, I will make a salad and with the rest I'll make a pasta sauce. So it's really easy to just look up a recipe making pasta sauce with um, grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes and if you have these you can use these but um, they're really worth putting in your backyard they do look messy and they produce like crazy so if you're not if you can't keep up with that then it's probably not a good idea to get these but they're amazing tomatoes and they do well very well in Florida I, I get a few bushes like three times a year that produce but um, I did read about some guy who took his seeds, he has a place here in Florida and up north, and he took some seeds up north with him, and they did very well. I guess it comes back every summer, so they do good in north too, but I think they do best in Florida soil because I've tried them in buckets and miracle Grow things like that, and they just do the best when they're just growing wild in my backyard. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and try to get yourself some of these seeds. They're really delicious. They're very, very sweet. Um, they're great for kids to eat because they burst right in your mouth. Um, there's really no choking hazard. So they're also very delicate. Um, so when you're harvesting them, you have to be very careful to possibly pull, pull it off with the stem because um, they just burst so easily. But they're very delicious and great for you, and they make a very healthy and delicious snack. Okay, thanks for watching.